The Beat Depression UK show on Liberty Radio. Beating depression through the power of faith. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another program of Beat Depression UK radio show. And we're here to share with you how to be able to deal with any kind of issue that may come against you, right? Because, and, and here's the truth. We're, we talk about beating depression, overcoming depression, and it's more than possible, right? We have many life stories that are on the program that show you that it's more than possible. But we understand that there are people that they face situations in life that are outside of their power. There are people that they are born into life circumstances that are favorable. And there are others that are born into circumstances that are very difficult. And of course, that will have a toll on a person's mental health. That can have a toll on a person's well-being. But we're here to show to you how to be able to deal with difficult situations. Whatever comes against you that is outside of your power, you have the ability to be able to deal with those things in a positive way, in a way that's going to be good for you and those that are around you. So we're here to show you how. And of course, we're here to show you how using the power of faith. I'm joined in the studio this evening with Chris. Good evening. Hello, good evening. And, you know, depression doesn't depend necessarily on a person's situation, even your situation, your, your, your life story, mm -hmm. right? You had a happy family, you had everything that you needed, but you still found yourself in a position of, of being depressed. Yeah, that's So right. depression can affect absolutely anyone. It can. But it's also true that a person's life circumstances can have an effect on a person's mind frame and the way that a person is. I think for many people, the reason why they do get depressed is that they think they can't change their situation. That, for example, you mentioned you're born into a certain family, that family's maybe dysfunctional, and you think that's it. And you try to kind of make your own efforts to, to change a situation. And when you realize you can't humanly do anything, then that's when a lot of people do end up with mental health issues because, and it could be any situation, not just family, they think, well, I can't do anything about this. This is it for the rest of my life. This is how I'm going to feel for the rest of my life. And then they spiral into this this depression, you know, even suicidal thoughts sometimes. Suicide. How many people, they reach the point of thinking that the only way out of their issue is to take their own life mm -hmm. because circumstances around them, as you were saying, is, is like it's out of their power. Yeah. How can I change another person? How can I change this this? this circumstance that I'm in. There's only so much control that we can have over what mm -hmm. goes on around us. Yeah. So when a person looks around and they say, I cannot change the situation, then they say to themselves, oh, the, the best thing that I can do is to, is to take my own life. Mm -hmm. But you know, the secret that we're gonna share today actually is what if you can't, you can't change a person or the circumstances around you? What, what is there that you can do that can still make you feel at peace yeah, and happy, yeah. even though everything around you seems to be going wrong. Yeah. yeah. It, uh, you know, everyone has the ability to be able to take power over themselves, mm -hmm. regardless of whatever is that is going on in their lives. Whatever it is that you are facing, you have the power to take control over your situation, over yourself, for your happiness and for your well-being. And with that being said, we have William in the program this evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you for asking you. Uh, <laughs> I'm happy Please to, love it when I guess it's so I'm, happy I'm, already. I'm, I'm happy that I have you here with us this evening. Finally, I came. Yes, yes. And, you know, it's important that you're here mm -hmm. because what you have gone through in your life is exactly what we're talking about. You had a lot of issues as a young man growing up. Where did you grow up? In Brazil, uh -huh. yes, in the north of the country. Okay. So you had a lot of things that you were dealing with internally. Mm -hmm. And those things came from external situations. What was, it, what was it that was happening in your life that led you to be in the place that you found yourself in? Well, uh, first of all, it's, it's good to mention here that uh, I grew up in a, in a good environment. Okay. If that makes sense. 
So my upbringing was very good, actually. It was very good until my, my father-in-law, he passed away. And my father, he was very attached to him. And he passed away on the arms of my, of my father. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, w what happened after that particular day, I think I was around eight or nine years. So from zero to eight or nine years old, I was like having a, a good life with my parents. I used to hang out with him. He used to be the kind of father that was always teaching me things. Uh, how to to how do how do you call it to make kites okay yeah and uh, kites. yeah and you know to, to do things together i remember that on weekends my father was a kind of man that he loved pictures and uh, taking pictures in many places but after the death of my father-in-law the situation changed in a, in a negative way because it impacted a lot, especially my life. So my father, after that moment, he started treating me as a strange, as a stranger in home. Mm -hmm. Like he was not speaking anymore to his son. And uh, until 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 eight or nine years, I had like a good moment with him. But after that moment, as soon as my father-in-law passed away. So we had like our lives became like I can say a nightmare because he was always always calling me names. You are this, you are stupid, you are this, all kind of things. To the point that as I had now not a father but an enemy, also I started like I treated him in the same way. So uh, did you? Could you understand why he was treating you like that? No, I couldn't. For my age, I couldn't understand uh -huh. because. Uh, in my mind, what did they do? Because he was, I can say, a good son. Okay. Was, was it just with you that he was? Yes, it was to... only with me. Oh, but the rest of the family. Yeah, no, was... it was okay. Well, like, with my mom, with my sister, like oh. everything changed only with me, only towards me, to the point that I say, but what did they do? Because uh, at school everything was okay, so I had no problems with anyone. Anyone at home, I used to wake up early in the morning, help my my parents. But for no reason, he used to curse me, to say things, to call me names, stupid and whatever. Did and you notice the relationship that he had? You, you said f you meant gran your grandfather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you, did, were they very close? Yeah, they are very close. They very were very close. close. Okay. Very. So we'll just say it was like the similar relationship to what you had with your own father. Yes, exactly. Okay. Yes, you, so they you nailed very, it. <laughs> okay, so they were very close. So that, that's always difficult isn't it because when you if you didn't have it i don't mm -hmm. know what's worse actually actually having that relationship in the first place and then losing it or never having it at all <laughs> for me personally i think having it and then losing, losing it, it. Mm -hmm. yeah. because i never i've never had it so as much as that was avoided in my life is i don't think is as bad as losing having it, yeah, something yeah. that you've lost yeah. you miss it yeah exactly which i didn't have anything to miss kind of thing yeah so that had a, obviously that had a big influence from eight nine years old yeah how did that affect you so if it uh, affected me so much for example i was a very good stu student and uh, after that it affected a lot for example at school i became like violent so like i started like having problems in school uh, i have st i started having problems with my family members and uh, even though I couldn't understand much about the situation, but as I was growing, I like I say, why did he hate me so much? So as he hates me, I'm going to create now a reason for him to hate me because there was no reason I will create it. So I started treating him no longer as a father to the point calling him by his own name. Oh, wow. Say, and uh, calling him by his, hand, his name, and it was all the time that I used to do things like this, he was even more upset with me. And uh, I remember one situation that I was helping at home, cleaning the home, and then he was, I was cleaning and he was passing by, and I said, don't you see that I'm cleaning here? I stupid, I told him, and he took the broom from my hands and broke, on my, and broke it on my head. So it became like so much, like our house became like an environment home. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, a, 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 bad a, a violent, a, vi yeah. a, a violent environment. I should say. And uh, I said, no, I have to do something. 
So, and um, in the beginning, it was on, towards me, but it started affecting my mom, mm -hmm. my sister, and everybody. And afterwards, he lost his, bo his, his job. So, to the so point, maybe it was affecting my work as well. Yeah, everything. Like, uh, he was, he was, uh, like, uh, totally depressed. He was. Yeah. So... He was very depressed because of that situation. But you know that now, now looking back no, at yeah, it, you yeah, can now see, I can no. understand. But yeah. then it was just... Yeah, we didn't understand. Actually, the word depression back to those times, we didn't mm -hmm. say it much. I can't remember to, 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 to hear this word depression. And then um, at home, sorry, at, at, at school, I found a, a friend. I was around 11 years, 12 years. He had the same problem that I have. And he said, I will kill my father. And I said, why not? Uh, why should I not do the same? How old were you at the time? 11 or 12 11, years. Wow. Yes. And we planned, both of us, to at the same day do the same thing. But it never matched because we have to find a, a situation. So, and... Before, before you go in, before you go okay. any further... <laughs> Chris, in, in, in life, when we're faced with situations, we can either deal with things in a good way or in a bad way. Yeah. And it's so interesting how usually people just gravitate towards dealing with things in a negative way, whether it be violence, whether it be addictions, whether it be, you know, something very, you know, sinister. People always well, more time than not, people always find themselves making the situation even worse. There's always a good way to deal with things. Even when it's something that is outside of our power, there's always a positive way to deal with things. And it's down to a person to look for that yeah. instead of going to something that is destructive. Yeah, the, the thing is, this is what happens when things are just pent up inside for years and it's not dealt with and you don't speak to anyone about it. I don't know if you ever tried to talk to your dad about what you were feeling and about the relationship no, changing. No, yeah, never. so it was all stuffed in there. Mm -hmm. And of course, at, one, at some point or another, it's going to explode. It's going to come yeah. out one way or the other. And as a child as well, trying no, no, and, and now to. sort of finding a friend that is not, oh, it might be the same age, but it's still like fam a new family to you and being influenced by that. That's why we hear sometimes on the news about uh, children killing their parents. Yeah. How many times have we heard that? What has led a child to do that? Of course, it's wrong. They, you know, they made the decision to do that, but it was because they never dealt with those feelings that were inside. Yeah. So they came out, unfortunately, in a tragic way. Yeah, and that was almost going to be exactly what what was going to happen with you. Yeah, uh, the first thing that, for example, uh, I said, I'm going to kill him, and then we start buying like bullets, Good. and I was saving money. So it wasn't the just talk was it? You're actually. Yeah, real, yeah, it? it was real. I had yeah. some at home. I had, and uh, I I started saving money, uh, like every month that I could find that I could uh, receive from anyone, from a family member, I could save it because I said, I will buy it. And I even found people who were able to sell this to me. I said, I want to buy it. So Most teenagers are, are saving money towards buying a pair of trainers or something like that. Yeah, that you, you were look at saving. this, how crazy it is. Yeah. So, so instead of like uh, thinking something good for myself, my plan yeah. was to take the life of my father. And uh, it was the uh, what I started doing. But as, I, as I, I couldn't approach the money that I needed, I said, I have to do something. And I took a, a knife, a big one that I have at home. And uh, my father, uh, he has a, 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 every, every day until now, he used to do this. After lunch, he take a, a nap. Mm -hmm. And I said, I'm going to take advantage of this moment because it was too much for me. I could not bear it anymore inside, internally, I couldn't bear. And then I said, it's today. I took a big knife I had at home. And while he was there taking his nap, I came, I approached. But when I say approach, it was like this distance. Mm -hmm. When I was there about to do his nord, and when I, I left, I ran. Because I was afraid of him saying what I was trying to do with him. Oh. Yeah. So it was very close to do Thank some... Thank God he snored, right? Isn't it? Because <laughs> imagine if he didn't. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't be here now, definitely. could be oh, yeah. Yeah. behind bars. Oh, yeah. Did the way... How was your relationship with other people? So 
after like the, the relationship with my father changed to me with people was the same like i could not say that i had friends i have some colleagues so but for a short period of time so like for for one week for one month to the point that i was always involved like with like with fights on the streets so it was this on the same level so i hate everybody i hate i hate everyone the only person that i could that i could not hate was my mom but my sister everyone like i hate even i hated even god even god even god like i hated everybody like mm -hmm. I, i would blame everyone for the situation that was happening in my house mm -hmm. so this pent up frustration you you had this anger inside of you yeah. I, i'll never forget I, i'll never forget uh someone who was sharing their their life story and similar actually they had a lot of financial pro financial they had a lot of family problems mm -hmm. and they would they said that they would just walk on the street just hoping that someone would even look at them oh, yeah. in a funny mm -hmm. kind of way mm -hmm. just for any reason to be able to fight. yeah fight and unleash the anger that they had pent mm -hmm. up inside of them can you relate to that as well was that the same with you as well yes kind of kind of yeah but you know uh, uh, yeah i i want to put this 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 anger in someone else so to the point that for example i was talking to someone a friend of mine someone who was very close and for silly reason when you look around we are there fighting where they're fighting really 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 fighting fighting because it's like a pressure cooker it was inside of me like getting worse and worse day after day even though i was only 11 or 12 years old Yeah. so i want to put it out in a way or the other just a question when um you did attempt to kill your father mm -hmm. and then that happened and then you ran away when you were looking back at it afterwards were you were you glad that you hadn't done it or you were like oh no i failed i, I need to try again what, what was going on in your head so uh, of course it, 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 back to that time i was very frustrated because for me what i had in my mind back to the time was if i end his life we end the problem mm -hmm. this is what i had in my, in my mind so uh, i i tried other times but it was the closest that i got if that okay. makes sense yeah so for me it was a frustration why did i not do this today and uh, i can even for example i hated him even more because uh, i think a couple of months after this episode uh back to the time we were living paying rent we did not have uh, our house yet and uh, because of his situation financially speaking he could not pay the rent of our house and uh, the owner of the house once came to our to our th that house asking for him but he wasn't there he was working he was trying to to make some money to pay but he couldn't i think he was already i had uh, seven or eight months that he couldn't pay the rent so the people were so upset that they came there to kill my father mm -hmm. so i tried and another people came but they didn't find him instead they found my mom mm -hmm. so when they and the guy also had that the gunman put the gun on the head of my mom so and i saw imagine so i hated even more yeah and uh, for example I, i hated even more my father and i hated the guy who put the gun on her head and i said no that's too much yeah that's too much and then when the guy left uh, because when he put there i tried to go against him because i was always tall <laughs> <laughs> always tall yeah. and uh, i i trust a lot in my because I'm, yeah and then i tried to do something and my mom said hey stay there calm down but i said i promised i said to my mom i promised i'm gonna kill this guy for you see how i was inside a lot of this a lot a lot of built up and the, the things that was happening yeah just adding to it. yeah it mm -hmm. was adding more and more anger inside of me yeah to the point that i couldn't control this anymore but today you're not an angry person no. <laughs> i don't feel threatened sitting next to you you're 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 very smiley laughing yeah, yeah. you know 
how did you and here's the point here's now the purpose of why we have you here this evening how did you manage to deal with all of that pent-up anger that you had inside of you uh, first of all the example of my mom so my mom using her faith like i was looking to her and the, the way how she behaved your mom was coming to church yes yeah, she was she was already coming to the church she was like uh, doing chains of prayer for us like fighting indeed and then it inspired me her faith inspired me and that and my father didn't he wasn't he was the same he was in the same depression sad uh, because he lost his father and then because of her also i came to the church i came and i started using my faith and uh, i saw like it didn't take long for me to change inside mm -hmm. so, and, and what happened to me was so great that my father afterwards he changed because of me <laughs> so supposed to be the opposite the contrary like uh, he changes and i spied and i i i changed as well but i changed First of all, it was my mom, afterwards myself, and then my father saw that the whole family, now they were changed, also he changed. But, but what, what way did you change? How were you towards him now in the house uh, that was different? It, it, it became so, we became so close that even before the death of my grandparents, we're not so close as we are today. So to the, to the point that he, he started saying to me things for example, I love you, son. Even before the death of my grandfather, my father never said these words to me. He never, he never, never, never. I, can, I cannot remember. It, this moment didn't happen. We had funny moments, we had good moments, but not this kind of, uh, how do you call it? Expression yeah, of affection. endearment, affection. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. it didn't happen. It didn't happen. But today, for example, you know, uh, um, he's living on another corner of the road. Yeah. But if I don't call, <laughs> if I don't call them, <laughs> my goodness, he needs to call me back. How are you? I remember when I was in the Philippines. Uh, in the Philippines, we had a lot of uh, 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 earthquakes. Sometimes the the earthquake uh, 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 hit a part of the country that that wasn't in the, in the same place where I was. He was to call me. Are you okay? But before no way wow no way i, I even forget forgot to, to mention here an, an episode this episode was very 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 strong yeah we were eating it's even for me until now when i remember it was we were eating and uh, i had a problem my nose started like bleeding he looked at me and he said i prefer that you die wow so a father say this to you it's very strong yeah. so but, <laughs> but nowadays now no 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 it didn't and that came through you coming to the church learning how to use your faith so it was like everything that you came everything that you heard you decided to put it into practice yes i did i did everything that i heard in the church i put this into practice I changed inside as a man, as a person. I changed towards him. But did you he, see? He, and by the way, he, I'm sorry, he was the same. He was treating me the same. Yeah. But I was, I wasn't. For example, all the time that he said something to me bad, I was there for him. I remember that I used to say to him, you can count on me. I love you. I, I'm your son. Even when he was treating you like yeah, that? Yeah, even when he was treating me like a. So even though you know perhaps you could have put the blame on him for the way that things were you saw that there were things in you mm -hmm. so you took the blame out of him and you took responsibility yeah for who I, did. You were. I, I was very young when I, I when i decided to use my faith so this problem started when i was I, around nine years until i was 13. Mm -hmm. and when i was 13 I, I had an experience with the faith that could transform myself and also it transformed my father as well to the point that today we have a very good relationship. Excellent. 
Amazing. Excellent. We're gonna we're, we're we're almost run out of time. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> and we, 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 we have <laughs> our weekly seminars, Life in Color. That is exactly the kind of meeting that William came to. And he saw the changes inside of him and he received the guidance that he needed in order for him to become the man that he is today. If you would like to receive more information about this meeting, you could call our helpline at 020-7686-6000. You can either call or you can either send a message on WhatsApp because you can, it's a WhatsApp number as well. So you can send us a message and we will respond. Okay. So give us a call. You can contact us. Okay. Just before we finished, we have many men mm -hmm. that are watching us that are facing the same anger issues that you faced. Many men who are dealing with perhaps what your father dealt with, depression, emptiness, and they don't know how to deal with it. This is your camera here. What message do you have to give to the men that are watching this program this evening? Well, the way out for you to sort it out is not going against anyone or anything. Instead, use your faith because there is a way out for you. There is change for your life. There is a solution. There is a way out for the situation that you are going through. I was able to overcome it. And uh, today I have an amazing relationship with my father. It could end in a bad situation as I tried. But instead, we use our faith. I use my faith and I could save myself and the life of my father as well. And the same can be you thank you for joining us this evening thank you for joining us chris pleasure. all right thank you for joining us as well it was a pleasure and we look forward to hearing from you wherever you may be have a good evening